Welcome back to Nobrow Gaming and another episode of Super Metroid. <laughs> Half blind, like, with your lowbrow peoples. Hi, I'm Magnus. I'm Lars. I'm in control of I'm the things that we do. I'm just beep, 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 sassing beep. at the side. Side sassing. I'm um, side sassing. <laughs> yeah. That's what you do. How does that feel? Um, Are you bored? I'm not bored at all, actually, but I am looking forward to when I, uh, when we are doing something that I can play as well. Yep. This is a playthrough that comes uh, on the back of uh, playing through another world and flashback. So if you if you are enjoying this uh, this series, I do suggest you play those. No, check those series out. Oh as yeah. Well. Um, We've had a little string of uh, playing through games that. Lars may have missed and I fucking love. <laughs> Something like that. But also the games that I have missed and Lars fucking loved. Uh, yes. Um, I only touched oh, there we on go. Flashback. Uh, yeah, uh, Flashback, when I, was a, uh, when I was a kid I had it on the Amiga and there was just, I could never get past a certain point and then we, uh, we actually managed to do that when we played it. Mm -hmm. And finished it! Because that's what we do, we finish things except we don't finish The experience I had with Flashback was... Uh, I think I I think I found it online in my young internet days. Yeah. And then I no, that's a lie. It was not <laughs> in my young internet days. I think I bought it uh, because oh, this is a bit of a strange story. But um, my first game that I both bought myself ever was mm -hmm. Duke Nukem 3D. Oh, Final uh, Fantasy 2, which was also another game that I didn't finish until we started this channel. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yay! Finishing games. If you, if you if you have a large backlog, you should start a YouTube channel. <laughs> it exactly. forces you to play through games that you should have played for a long, a long time ago. There but, we go. Uh, do, my Duke Nukem thing was sold in a co uh, a Kix cover. I don't know if you ever remember those, mm. but I think Kix was a uh, uh, a reseller uh, pub publisher slash reseller, mm -hmm. and they sold uh, various types of uh, old DOS games on CD. Okay. And uh, I remember buying Duke Nukem 3D, and I bought a game called Witch Haven 2, which is uh, uh, seemingly some sort of, some sort of a completely forgotten, abandoned game. Mm -hmm. uh, and I bought Flashback right. because I bought it because it was on a kicks uh, in a kicks cover, and my young brain was like, oh, "It's in a kicks cover, so it's bound to be good." <laughs> but um, I was way too young to play a game like Flashback back then. Right. So that's my only experience with that. Why are long sword? Wait, hold on. Some of these are cracked. Mm-hmm. Hmm. That means I'm probably just going to fall down, right? Well, no? not immediately, I guess. Uh, I guess. I'm going to fall down fall, anyway. Did you fall down? I did, I did it on purpose this time. <laughs> no, wait, I, I did. Because I wanted, I wanted to see what's on, uh, on this side of the pond, because I haven't been on this side of the pond before. Mm. I see. And there's nothing. Also, being in water is... Hell on Earth. Yes. Except we're not on Earth. We are on... Wait, what's uh, the planet S again? S is this Zebs or... No, this is SR338. Uh, probably something like that. Let me just check my brain for yeah, a second. Yeah, let's check that brain of yours. Yeah. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I fell down. <laughs> now I didn't do it on purpose, and now it's getting to me. Okay. Um... Flashback was awesome. We've uh, we've been saying that we're going to play Fate to Black at some point, which, which is the, the sequel. Uh, so we should probably do that at some point, but in the meantime, I I want the next game we play to be uh, Event Zero, because I think we can have fun with that. Event Zero? Event Zero. What's that? It's, uh... <sighs> you remember how freaked out you were when we played Pony Island? <laughs> Uh, yeah? Yeah. It's that kind of, uh, interact with AI and kind of, like, type, type, uh... It's communicating with an AI on a spaceship uh, through through typing, so you, you have to. Uh, I actually heard of that. Uh, I actually heard of that. Yeah, you're you're trying to do stuff, and and so anyway, we're in a new area. Look, <laughs> look, new areas. Hey, hooray! Hey, hooray! <laughs> oh, there's the secret stuff, the a secret stuff up there. Uh, we're gonna get to that at some point, but not like this. Not like this. Uh, we are on planet Zebs, is what my brain is telling me right now. <laughs> okay. Uh, SR338 was the research station that you started the game on. Uh, wasn't that station series or something? No. I don't remember. No oh, fuck's sake. Uh, 
Maybe you're confusing it with a planet from one of the other games. <gasps> no, I'm pretty sure this is Zebs. Zebs. Zebes. 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 Uh, I don't. Oh, there's a yeah. uh, scrapple to this thing. Okay, it is possible to wall jump up there, I guess. But we'll go this way first. And there's a door. Wouldn't you know it? Put your phone down, we're playing a video game. I'm trying to figure this out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, after bringing a Metroid oh. larva to Ceres Space Colony for a study. There you go, that's uh, yeah. the space uh, station. Stress call, she turns to find scientists down, blah, blah, blah. And follows Ridley to Planet Zebs. Now this Ooh, is wow. Planet Zebs. Why this... am I getting SR338 from? I'm guessing it's a it's a different planet from a different game. Oh, fuck thing. Yes. I put I put, put my phone brain down now. Put your brain down. Yes, welcome to the wrecked ship. Yeah, this, this is all spooky. This somehow, without like any sort of other comparison really, this really gives me a Salt and Sanctuary vibe. Uh, okay. I don't know why. I think it's the the stairs. Is it because it's dilapidated and and wrecked and shit? I think it's a bit to do with the colors. Not that there's much color in, in Sultan Sanctuary, but um, I think it was just the stairs in that hallway or in like the in the climb up. But it's it's a very sort of Castlevania style thing, I guess. Uh. Having uh, stairs that don't really connect to the floor; they just <laughs> linger in midair. The creatures that you fight here are very strange. Uh, I've always wondered about indeed. the idea with the uh, the spooky skull monster slimy heads that just pop up yeah. every once in a while. I'm now trying to figure out whether or not they all disappear when I kill all of these balls, or if that's... It seems like some, something to do with it anyway. Maybe it'll open the door for me. Me, 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 me. <laughs> <laughs> you mean like the professor from... Right. Oh. That didn't work. What about the other side? Well. 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 Wow. Well. And uh, let's see. Oh, there's another one. I think these the guys might be infinitely responding. That's what I'm thinking, but why do the doors not open oh, then? Yeah, okay. Because uh, grey doors previously have meant to kill all the enemies in the room. Now I've killed all of the balls in the room, all these energy tube mm. whatevers. Uh, but these guys keep reappearing, so... I think those are just like the Medusa heads in uh, Castlevania, so I think they are just infinitely spawning. Yeah, so I'm just wondering what the deal is with the, with these doors then. So I'm guessing then maybe I have to go somewhere else and do something else and then come back. <laughs> Story of this game. Story of this game. Go hmm, somewhere else. I can't go here. Maybe I should go somewhere else and do something else. <laughs> Freeze those ghosts. Ah, <laughs> oh, <laughs> you froze me, fucker. Meaning that they're physical beings. They're not spiritual. Uh, spiritual. Or <laughs> spiritual. Or spiritor. Spiritors. They're not spiritors. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go down Amulet Timber. Um, cool. What? what? No. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm singing. Singing a song. Well, the save mm. station isn't working. Guess the pow's off. Also, there's spooky monsters in here. <laughs> there's a spooky monster in my oh, safe wait. station. I just realized. I think that's the in, that's the only case where you ever find uh, fight monsters in in, in a, a safe room. room. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Interesting. The things we find out. Oh my god. Oh wow. Such m small stories being told. Yeah. So I'm guessing the doors are closed because the power's off, mm -hmm. and we have oh, to turn is, that power on. It is funneling you somewhere at least. Yeah. It is fondling me. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome just, to Lerbrock Gaming! Just got, just got me thinking of ball <laughs> fondlers from Rick and Morty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's kill all of these things. I don't know what they are, but I'm going to kill them all. Kill them all, kill them all. Murder, death, kill. Murder, death, kill. All right. Uh, down. And I'm guessing at the bottom here, there's gonna be the fuse box monster. <laughs> fuse box monster. Oh, this is cool. Can I kill it? <laughs> hey, this girl can kill it. <laughs> okay, here's a map room. But it's also not working. Ah, yeah, the power's definitely off. Mm -hmm. Power's definitely off. There's, uh... Noticing a lot of small details about this game. Yeah. Now. Now through since 
since you have the time to just sit back and, and yeah, watch you, the scenery, kind yeah, of. Yeah, because you, you, you spend a little bit more time going through this yeah. uh, than I would do if I would just sit down and play this again. Right. So, a lot of minor details just pop out, like the fact that you get attacked by a monster in that save room. Mm -hmm. And things like that. It all tells the story. Me, 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 me. Hello, flame, sir. When's the last time you saved? A long time ago. Hmm. Right. That might be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying I might die in this room? This guy is Fantoon. Right. He has an eyeball like the one on the door, so let's uh, shoot with the missiles and whatnot. Where you at, bro? Oh. Do All that. over the place. All over the place. Can I do anything with the the the, the b -b -b bomba? Is that gonna help? Is that gonna do anything? You did shoot him once. I did. I'm just wondering if the super bomb helps me at all. It doesn't seem like it. <sighs> well, open that eyeball of yours. Give me health. Me, me, me. The boss music in this game is great. There it is. Whoa. Turn some more. Yeah, I keep forgetting that I should be uh, spamming that missile button once I start shooting. Really. Yeah, you have quite a lot of them now. Yeah, I do. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> oh, there he is again. There he is. Oh, look at that. Look at me go. I am going to die in this room, though. <laughs> Probably. Are you sure about that? Not sure. You've done quite a lot of damage to him already, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think it's. I, I find it very cathartic when you when you play games where the bosses change colors when you start when you deal more and more damage to them. I haven't even noticed. I'm a bit busy. <laughs> yeah, well, obviously, yeah, I get that. Oh, there he is. Woo! There's a lot of games on the Super Nintendo that does that. Yeah. Where they turn more and more red, and go. The simple act of just becoming faster is mm -hmm. all that you need for them to become more and more hard. Come on. Ooh. 27 some... missiles left. I'm half yeah. half HP. Oh, you have super not, missiles. Not Ooh. that bad. Come on. It's a bit annoying that they're inconsistent in their uh, drops. The the the, uh, the drops. Yeah. <laughs> the drops are dropping thing. <laughs> Things. Oh, jeez. Right. Now I can see it is completely blood red now. Oh, yeah. He's very angry now. Rage face! Come on. Maybe use super missiles for the. Uh... Woo! Beep beep! Beep Come on. Open that eyeball of yours. There he is. No, it isn't. God damn it, you tricked me. I feel like we're getting He's close. He's got to be close to dead now. Yeah, I hope so. Because I am. <laughs> I am as well. Come on. I got some HP back. Nice. I am aware that I am also spending my missiles, of course. We could use super missiles now, I think. Yeah. Got 15 of those. There he is. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I think you got him. Celebrations, yes! So the story with this guy is... If I remember correctly... <laughs> can, I, can I do uh, Saturday Night Fever? That's a very slow Saturday Night Fever. <laughs> well, it is tricky. Alright, we turn the power on. The fuse box monster is dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's what I was gonna say because the deal with Fantoon supposedly, if I remember correctly, is that he's draining um, power. No, but I think he's in he's infecting the the electronics of the system by because he's a ghost monster, right? <laughs> ghost monster, yeah. Yeah, something like that. All right, maybe not jump into the. No, sparks. I, mean, I, I just had to confirm that you actually <laughs> uh, get damaged by the like the uh, beavers and butter thing where you go. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Gonna catch a ride. With the spoo scooter to mine. <sighs> okay, uh, let's check out what's down below before we go up again then, I guess. 
Okay, so shooting these guys changes their direction. I think it just moves them. Yeah. Could, could also Something be that like you. That. Who knows? Map! Let's... <laughs> map! Ah! Uh, it's a miracle! Okay. Right. The crushed ship. Wrecked ship, sorry. Wrecked ship, even. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> the wrecked ship in Criteria. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know when that's it's fun. almost it's almost like it's a love story. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh oops. Okay. Uh, making our way all the way back up again. Making my way. <laughs> <laughs> now who's sing singing silly songs? Uh, let's see. Can I go up here now? Do this. Do the yumpies. Oh, I have to do the yumpies. Yump. You have to yump. You have to yump. Cute. Yump, yump to the top. Oppa. Uh, Oppa. <laughs> this room is strange. It, it's not just that strange. It's it's a storage room where they keep their super missiles. <laughs> <laughs> and they're and they're <laughs> broken up with cables while it's a wrecked ship, so that mm -hmm. makes sense. Uh, nothing else, and I wasn't able to kill the sparks with the, <laughs> the super bomb. <laughs> but we are in desperate need of that save room now before yeah. we uh, make a fool of ourselves. But there is a save room here, isn't yes, there? It is right above One here. more up. Yeah. Uh, let's just go save first, please. <laughs> please go save first. In case first. I can't look for, for, for once, I would like for you to go save first. Fine. Because <laughs> that thing might have just as well killed me. Yeah. <laughs> that works. Oh, there's also the spooky ghosts have gone. I wonder, were they part of Fantoon? I guess so. Thoughts, opinions? Children of Fantoon! Be gone from this place! The power of Christ compels you! The power of Christ compels you! <sighs> I watched The Exorcist this summer again. It was it'd been a while since I saw it. I forgotten how weird that movie is and actually quite, quite little happens in it yeah it's just the chick in the bed isn't it <laughs> the chick in the bed yeah <laughs> i mean i'm not a huge fan i don't know if you know this but uh yeah um oh yeah something's changed up here now we have uh, inhabitants that are not ghosts and he shot a booger at you he's is he the booger man maybe yeah. maybe i don't know what that was about but yeah yeah, okay, we went up now instead of going back into the room that we started going into. Mm -hmm. uh, so, well, we're, we're doing that now. Because of the gravity, you can start at the top and go down because of gravity. <laughs> Is that what I sound like? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> That's what I make you sound like. There's a difference. Make me! <laughs> make me! Right, uh, kill all enemies. still locked, yeah. I have to kill all the... Kill all humans that are not human. They're bird. Bird, bird people. Yep, bird persons. <laughs> now we've killed all persons. Yes, it would seem so, yes. It would appear we have killed all non-humans. <sighs> I find it through. strange that when you turned on the power, all the little blobs escaped from their holding boxes, mm -hmm. which is why all the... All, um, there's so much... Uh, uh, that's what happened, okay. It's, it's good that you actually explained that, because I wouldn't given it any thought, really. That, yeah, but that, like that, that, the, that's the logic the thing. of things. There's a lot of minor minor details oh. you can just p notice when you... Uh, when you do things? When, no, but when you if you just spend some oh. time and just notice it like that. I'm a, I'm a ball. <laughs> it's my... Uh, I'm a ball. I'm a ball. How long? How far along does yeah, he fly? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. All the way, it seems. There's a pickup beneath you. Yep. The guy and up there. The guy above. Hmm. Interesting. So. Uh, yeah, okay. Interesting. Um. Well, I guess there's not really much to find here. I can just go down and get that pickup. I guess. Where is it? Right beneath you, I think. Chance. It should be. No, oh, you have to go through here. <clears throat> uh, okay. Bit of a maze. 
wondering, like, I don't want to fall too far because then I have to do all of this all over again. So then, there it is. And it's just a missile. All right. Uh, how to get to it, though? There is something important in this particular area, I'll just tell you right now. Uh-huh. Something that you, you're, you're, you're gonna want to get it. Yes. And that is? Uh, not in this area, but going through this. This door? Uh, yeah, I think you actually... Um, yeah, I'm like 99% sure that you just went the right way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just really wanna <laughs> hug all those mantis rays that are there for some reason. With these like you wouldn't cuddly. <laughs> oh, but <laughs> cuddle bones. Hello, Spike Room. Uh, yep. This is where we die. No. Oh. Come on. What? <laughs> I believe in you. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's just I wish the microphones would pick up go. on that. There we go. It's fine. You're doing so well. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Holy shit. Okay. Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Okay. This is where we die. No, you don't. Ah. See, you're fine. Ah. Hey, sir. You have, you have stuff, please. You can have things. Dude. Oh, there you go. This is pretty damn cool, actually. What if he would but were to bowl you over there? <laughs> <laughs> Strike! <laughs> now, this is pretty neat. Yeah, this is actually really, really cool. Mm -hmm. um, also, just... I, w I want to say that it was obvious, but I, I, I did just stumble across the solution. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a very cool thing to stumble upon. So it's really cool. Thank you, sir, for carrying me. Also, keep in mind the that the, these these statues are the same statues that you've been picking up power ups yeah, from, yeah, yeah. and they always hold like an yep. egg in that same manner. I could tell that something was missing from his hand, mm -hmm. and my th my thinking was that I was going to put a power bomb in his hand. Uh -huh. That's why I rolled up there and crouched down. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's 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 what I was doing. Hello, gravity suit. suit. Wait, Are you ready I, for some can I, can smashing? I, can I jump in the in the into the ceiling then? Oh my god, it's purple. Mm. It's so beautiful. It's the lowbrow colors. Oh right. Right. Mine is a red. How 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 does the gravity suit work? Let's see. What does it do? It doesn't do anything that you mm. can activate to Because uh, I was hoping sense. I could like walk on the ceiling and stuff now. Oh, hello. No, but here's what it does. Ah, uh -huh. nice traversing the liquids. Much easier. Awesome. All right, uh, we are going to go back into the ship because we have unexplored territory in there. This is just the greatest feeling in the world because there's a, there's a couple of places that you can oh, spend a lot on. of time trying to get through with uh, uh, without the gravity suit. Yeah. And uh, getting the gravity suit after trying to traverse those particular areas mm -hmm. is just it's like it's like it's like when you're traveling, yeah, and you're unable to go to the toilet while you're on the plane, <laughs> and then when you get off the plane and then you get home and then you finally get to go to the toilet, it's kind of like that. <laughs> <laughs> Metaphor complete. So is this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe to the thing, and we'll see you next week for some more. Super Metroid Offline. Metroid. <laughs>